morning, my name is Eric Plazier. I'm agricultural counselor for the Netherlands in Cuba and in Mexico. And today we're in the Cuban province of Artemisa together with the Ministry of Agriculture of Cuba, the Dutch Embassy in La Habana, and a team from Soul Doctors, Aryan and Bas from the Netherlands who have come to Cuba to study the problem of salinization in Cuban agriculture. So Aryan, what is salinization and why is it a problem? Uh, well, salinization means that the salt concentration of either your soil or your water is increasing. And a lot of uh, crops uh, cannot handle high salt concentration. So if you have a problem with salinization, usually it means your crop yields are going down. And that's a problem, of course. So the Netherlands and Cuba have different conditions, different climate, different soils. So how can experience from the Netherlands be of use in Cuba? Uh, well, salinity and adapting to salinity also starts with using uh, crop varieties that are more tolerant for the salinity. And that's what we've been researching in the Netherlands. And these crops are also cultivated here, like potato, like carrot, cauliflower and different beets. So of course you have to check if these varieties are also suitable for the climatic conditions and the soil type. But usually it's, uh, it, it works. And what have been your findings so far here in Cuba? Well, we've been visiting one of the most important agricultural areas here in, uh, in Cuba. And they have a lot of problems with uh, salinity here. It's partly due to uh, the, the, the origin of the soil. There's a lot of limestone here, so they have a problem with high calcium and also high pH. Uh, so that's a little bit different problem than like seawater intrusion. But that also is happening here. There's also seawater intrusion. And these farmers are using groundwater for irrigation that is salt affected. And with that, you see many problems in the soil, a lot of problems with the crop production, but we also see a lot of opportunities to improve the crop yields here. Yeah. And what would be your recommendations now for, for next steps? What can we do? What can you do here in Cuba? Yeah, well, Cuba is of course a special country. Uh, one of our first recommendations is to try out some different crop varieties. For instance, with potato and carrot, they're not using many uh, different varieties. So testing the varieties here that have been proven to be more salt tolerant. Now, are they suitable for the local conditions? Are indeed the yields uh, increasing if you switch to these varieties? Also look at the agricultural practices. You know, there are some um, nature-based, low-cost solutions that you can implement also to uh, mitigate the salinity problems a little bit. And also the water management. You know, there's plenty of room for improvement in uh, water use efficiency, but also water harvesting. So if you combine all those aspects with the, with the plants, with the soil and the water, you can have a sustainable agriculture here for, for a long time, for sure. That's it for now. We'll be back in Cuba when we can start our pilot project to put all these lessons and recommendations in practice. So stay tuned for the next edition.